Hello everyone, welcome back to the campaign called The Eye of Observation. Uh, we are the Rollers of Fate. I am uh, Mark, your DM, and these are my players. We have Joey, Cisco, Mo, Luke, and Lucky. Say hi everyone. Hello. 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 Hey guys, thank you for being here. So we're now up to the second session uh, of this campaign. Uh, but before we start, uh, we will go through some announcements. Uh, Cisco, take it away. All right. Uh, okay. For those of you who are new to our stream uh, and have not watched our previous episodes, please go and check us out uh, straight uh, away here on Twitch after this episode ends. Or you can go to our YouTube channel at Rollers of Fate D&D, where you can find all our previous episodes, including our seal pages of Berglas and Dining in Barovia, which airs on Sunday uh, or Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Well, the other way around. And it's got different sets of players, and uh, it's really cool as well. Also, if you want to send us some fun art, please do at rollersoffaithdnd at gmail.com or any queries or anything you might think of. And we also have a Twitter channel at FateDnd where you can catch up to uh, up to date news and stuff. Not that active at the moment, but yeah. And also, uh, just a little content warning. Uh, Mild content warning, hopefully nothing gory or dark might occur, but it depends on us players so we take our story. And yeah, and thank you for being there, and I'll give it back to you, Mark. All right, with that, I think we should go back into the vision of the eye of observation. Ooh. Ooh. So, you want to continue listening to the story, eh? Fine. Previously, we met five very curious people. We met a young druid, hoping the stars will guide him to what he's looking for. A former boxing champion who wants her place in the spotlight back. The rogue who tries to hide his identity in the dark, looking for several answers he needs. A knight that is looking for the power he needs to reclaim his throne. And then, you have William. Known for avoiding problems by getting into even bigger ones. Speaking of which, shortly after our heroes met, Will managed to make a deal with the captain that would get them to brood him for free. For not too long. The captain demanded to get paid uh, fully when you arrived at transit. During the travel, the group shared off some of their background stories before arriving at the said continent. The ship was about to set dock when Will came up with the plan to leave the captain empty-handed. They gathered the group and teleported the group to land, exactly in the middle of the murder investigation of Derry Seinfeld. The party was about to get arrested before a war mage named Leander stopped the guards and decided to take them with him to his office. Here they discussed how screwed the party was, but the war mage could make things right. If they managed to find a way to be useful, he could sign a contract and their problems would go away immediately. They decided to go back to the murder scene where they first teleported towards. They found some useful clues and gathered as much information as possible before they found the secret tunnel. The party went through the tunnel and went up to a ladder entering an empty room with a single door. Will, Will reached with his mage hand to open the door. And just before that, that's where we last started. Now, the five for you are staring at the closed door as the handle slowly moves down. We will first jump back a year ago, and we don't go to transit, but we go to the continent called Paradia. We will zoom into a castle called Van Nassaue which is the biggest training camp of the Knights of the White Flame. Sol, for you it's a regular summer day. You just started training with two of your friends at the target range with a bow and arrow. At the right of you, there's a man named Fleur Blumendal, who's also training with you and is keeping up just around the same score as you have. Now you can choose. Do you want this person to be your friend or your rival? Uh well I will I will imagine that uh that Sol 
once as he didn't really have that many friends when he was uh, a kid on his young days. So he will be up to making friends with anyone who he thinks is uh, suited enough. So is this person looks like a, he's a good nature or does he look like a, kind of like a little bit shady and, and someone who could p potentially do bad deeds? I guess being on the order, I don't know. Yeah, he will be a nice type of person who is also trying to keep the out of oh, the white flings. So I'll be like, uh, oh, uh, I haven't seen you uh, for quite a while. Uh, yes, uh, uh, how are you been? Um, well, you're also you're the two of you are currently practicing with the bow and arrow right now. Um, he's standing at the right of you, and you're both of you are just keeping track of like shooting as many of the targets as possible. And you're kind of evening out, like it's more of like a competition you're in right now with that person. Okay, so then uh, in that case, I'll be like, perhaps I'll let you win today. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> more likely, as every time I miss, I will say that. Uh, what are we shooting, actually, out of curiosity? Is it like um, one of those uh, thingies, rings, like a, like a, how is it called actually? The something I, well, I can't remember. The bullseye? I know what you're getting at, but I have Yeah. Bullseye? Or is it more? Bullseye. Oh, yeah, the, they're like moving targets that are oh, moving targets. Or like skeet okay. shooting, so. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Whoa! I'll be kind of like doing like. Knock! Ah! Uh, so. Uh, do I know, is this person like someone who I've met for quite a while or is he quite new? Yeah, you've been that? training with him since the beginning and well, okay. you can choose if he's either your friend or your uh, Yeah, so I will, so he I will be befriend him to a limit that if I see that he's like, I don't want to humiliate him, I'm not sure how good he is, but if I feel like uh, he's... If I'm overwinning, I will purposely miss sometimes just to keep it in just a level. Just not make him feel bad. Yeah, even though I will win in the end because I don't. I want to show him that he needs to improve, but I will be like keeping it balanced to keep him entertained and don't make him feel uh, bad. You know. Sure. Um, well, the two of you are uh, at the target area when another person also uh, will join you. Um, he will go to the target area at the left. Um, his name is Eric Lamsfoot, and Eric. you can either decide, is he the best in the class or is he the worst in the class? Oh, you know what? Well, I think he should be the worst in the class. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also, he will join and immediately after he pulls the first bow, oh fuck, that one broke already. Like, he, oh, he, he, no. he's, so I'll, I'll, I'll be kind of like, oh, uh, Hello, Eric. Uh, long time. Uh, I see. Uh, you still. Uh, do you need uh, a little bit of help? And I will kind of like go. I, I think you should do it like that. And I will kind of like try to assist him a little bit. Okay, it's good. Good. Yeah. The well, the three of you will practice for quite some time before you are tired out of it, and you will go to a nearby bench or some place where you can hang out after training. Mm -hmm. And Clor um, will come up with the conversation, starting. Uh, I can't wait when our training is complete and we can just travel all around the world and just, you know, fulfill our purpose finally. Yeah. Mm, yes, I I agree with you. Uh, as much as I enjoy the training, I fear uh, evil is lurking everywhere and uh, we have to make a difference, right? You got any plans in the future, Sol? Anything you specifically want to achieve with your life? Oh, well... Uh... As anyone else, I would perhaps like one day to be happily married and uh, have children of my own and train them and pass over all the knowledge I've learned. But uh, I don't know if that will be easily achieved at this point. Is it also the reason why you joined the White Flames? Because I'm pretty sure you can do it with any profession. No, I mean, in terms of uh, reasons why I joined the White Flame, obviously, is to protect and support the people of the land, those who can't defend themselves, uh, like all of us, I guess, uh, I think I'm destined for great things and uh, wish we'll find them soon enough. But uh, enemies are everywhere, as you know, even 
in your closest circles. Don't you feel like that sometimes? Uh, Flower was his name? Floor. Floor, yeah. Floor. Uh, I just want to be, you know, recognized and let people see that I'm a beacon of hope and not, you know, if the judgmental faces of everyone around me. Of course, uh, I see your your rules of morale are impeccable. Uh, and with that memory of yours, we will jump back a year or uh, move up a year. And we go back to the cellar where the five of you are standing. Where Will's mage is slowly lowering the handle. And as the door opens, it's just a grim, dark looking room, not that much light. And also, when the door is almost fully open, the handle will break off. Oh, just a quick question, as to so I know. Um, will have been an hour since I casted this guy's cell? No, it's probably 15 minutes since you started the investigation, or 20 minutes, okay, let's say, oh, that's like good. that. That's good. <laughs> I don't need the gun then. Yes, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so I guess uh, if we all there together, uh, as the door slightly opens and the and the door handle breaks, I will uh, I will mentally tell. Actually, I will say it aloud so my companions know. Kitiara, go in there and have a look, dear. Please. And the rest of you. It's a it's oh. a it's a latch, right? We're on a ladder, right? Going up into into this room. Or yeah, you went into a ledge and then there was just it's empty, it's dirt floor and you, yeah, with the wooden poles that are next to the, the wooden walls. Yeah, um you wouldn't be so mad to be a, a little careful up there, whatever you're dropping from up top. God damn. Huh. Can we go up now? Hmm. What's, oh, what's... No, you were in the room. There's like uh, the ladder went up to a room. You're all five of you are in that room, I believe. That very end. Uh -huh. Now we're yeah. in the room, and then this this latch. Unless you want to be down the hatch. No, no, this, the, I, I got a little confused. So we're in the room, but this latch that he opened. The, uh, I mean, this. Yeah, with the mage hand. Uh, where is that? Is that in the room, or is this the what we used to come into the room? No, so there's we... a door. There was a that door. Was... So we went through the tunnel, right? And at the end of the hidden tunnel, mm -hmm. there was a door. And that's, yeah. Okay. Well, there's a ladder that led to a room. There's a door at the room. Okay, there's a door at the room. Okay, cool. Um, and then it just breaks. Um, I'll make a perception check immediately to see if I hear something or someone around. Any movement or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. If, if it breaks, uh, it was not us breaking it, right? It was from the other side, perhaps? Could we assume that? Um... Therefore, you must make an investigation check. Okay. Yeah, um, while that's happening, I'll uh, get a torch ready and just pull it out. 22 for my perception. Uh, that's a 6 for my investigation. And a natural 20 for my investigation. Oh, it's a natural 20! Whoa! Do the thing twice! <laughs> We're doing it, it again! Starting strong. <laughs> If you oh. dare to roll natural once at the end of the session now, eh? like, <laughs> <laughs> don't do it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the perception check, let's go from top to bottom. Um, you went for listening if anything was around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't hear a sound. I think we're clear. Just a squeaky noise somewhere, but it's not much it's it sounds like an old house okay okay mm. then uh the investigation for the door handle um the yeah the part where it was attached from your side of the room that one seems to be uh, rotten or rusted off and when there was a, even the little bit of movement in it it just broke off mm. oh this is a really old door old it was not meant to be open from this side. I am unsure. Hmm. That is kind of weird that that is that old. Well, hmm. do you think there's some kind of clue that the uh, the person who uh, left the crossbow, perhaps he left something around? Why don't we have a look? Um, yes, uh, 
we should be cautious though, because it could be trapped like uh, the crossbow was. And I'll uh, yeah. start lighting the torch. Yeah, Kitiara, go, go ahead. I'll ask her. Um, yeah, Kitiara will quickly make a flight around uh, the building. Okay. It seems to be have been abandoned, and there are only a few boxes. Most of them look empty. Mm. But if you look closer, it looks like the wood is kind of starting to rot. It's like it's not been in use for a long time. This building. That's what okay. you can. You think right. from I'll, it. I'll communicate that. You think you can get your little birdie to go out and have a look around? Oh, uh, yes, uh, he's just, she just told me that uh, it doesn't seem to be anyone in the periphery or anything. Oh, of, no, uh, I was talking about outside. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, will you mind doing that? Uh, I'm sorry for asking you so much of you, my friend and companion. Please, Kitiara, have a look outside as well. Kitiara will try its best to find a way outside, but... Ooh. The windows are closed, the door is closed. I'll oh, go yeah. up to one of the windows and just punch it. Oh! That works. Thank <laughs> you, uh... Mm, uh Gain. Well, that's alright. Going on, little birdie. Fly! Spread your wings and fly! Kind of like, hold her for a second. I uh, delicately put her through the glass because I know her wings can be quite fragile. Yeah, I mean, bird in glass window doesn't sound yeah. like a good... <laughs> yeah, so I will, okay, I will okay. kind of like... Uh, just with my hand, I will make the hole uh, as stealthily as possible because I don't want to make extra noise. But... Sure. Um, yeah, you can't actually see it on the map, but there should be like there's some wall over here as well, just the same as over here. Okay. So it's closed off. You can't access this place by any means. There are some gates over here as well that you should know then. Mm. Together with this one, that's the only two entrances you see to this place, but. I don't see anyone around this place. Okay. Not enough. Oh. Nothing strange. There is no danger at bay. You may rest at peace. Maybe this was where he was. Hmm. We 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 believe the door was couldn't have been. Was the door was old, so it wasn't opened the way we came in. Maybe someone waited in here to come out. Attack and then run off. Well, it's a pretty abandoned building. We're, we're we're not in the same building, are we? No, that tunnel no, went pretty the... far, so I imagine we're somewhere else. Yeah, you're you would basically enter over here somewhere. That's you're in this building uh, at the south of it. That's very um, uh, okay. I'm I'm gonna try to just quickly make sure again, like using shine my torch against the walls. There isn't like any other secret passages or anything. Not that you can see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if uh, if no one uh, else does, I will go ahead and I will start investigating, like patting the wall and just kind of looking for the edges, trying to feel wind in places. Yeah, see. everybody can make an investigation if they like. While, this, uh... while Soli is kind of, no, well, kind of searching delicately around the walls, you'll see Jane start kind of moving the crates, just <laughs> looking behind there and just <laughs> just making loads of noise. As she's kind of moving things around to looking around as well. I'll make the investigation check too. What does she find? Ooh. Same than I do, I guess. I know. Pretty, pretty <laughs> on this. Yeah. As Jane is moving one box, all put in the back scene. In. <laughs> Stop. Oh. It. Um. You will notice it's yeah, it's dusty in here. It doesn't seem like anybody has been in here for quite some time. Um. The only thing you would notice is that this door, the main entrance from this building, the door seems fine. Not like the door you went. In through from the uh, cellar part. Hey, oh, hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna lift my foot. Does it leave like a? You said it's very, it's quite dusty, right? So it must be leaving mm -hmm. some sort of footprints or anything like that, right? Um, you see, it's very slightly, but you have to really focus to see the difference. Is there one <laughs> that looks like we haven't made <laughs> around this room? Um, 
well, you will see some footprints, but you also realize, well, we walked down this room to investigate it, so... Mm. Damn it. Never will, mind, uh, carry on. I will look back to uh, Jay Feather. Uh, said, could you maybe... Uh, you are very perceptive, unlike me. Uh, perhaps uh, you could have a look uh, with your... I kind of stopped myself because I I was gonna say with your with your good eyes, but then I thought, damn, that doesn't. So it's like I guess with your passive insight. Sit there and what what were you gonna say, Sol? Oh, uh, that uh, please, but you are very perceptive uh, despite everything. Please, uh, maybe you can investigate further. It seems like uh, there is nothing more to to figure out here, but never know. Could I possibly smell anything different? Does it does it smell like and there's any sort of like resin, like some sort of like outer from? Um, oh no, I guess he didn't shoot the gun, did he? He shot the crossbow, so like maybe you could look at like um, for any splinters or anything. Um, could I feel around for any? Like, I, um, if you guys look carefully at each other, uh, you would know, have any of you looked at his face, really? Not really, no. The reason I mean, why I've, Feathers I've done not, several times, man. Yeah, the reason why Jay Feathers not really participating and actively looking and searching around is because... Uh, if any of you looked into his eyes, they're a very pale blue. Jupiter <clears throat> blind. Wait, sorry, the fuck? What? You're blind? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's why I stopped myself. You would probably might have noticed as I was gonna say something about his eyes and then I stopped myself. Yeah, go uh, ahead and make a perception check. Shit, you can! <laughs> You're blind! <laughs> but he's got blind sense. He's uh, one of those. Yeah. I mean, out of game, he's like uh, our daredevil, kind of. Can I, <laughs> I guess. Can I actually use Gus? And I want to just make a very faint win on like, the palm of my... I'm going to use the blow around. I want to see if there's any sort of debris or some sort of like... Uh, if there's something that's being covered up or hidden. I want to see if I could feel it with the wind pressure or something like that. Could I BS around with that with, with Gus? See if I could feel like a different... Make an Arcana check with, with disadvantage because it's a very weird uh, task you're asking me to perform. Oh, no. <laughs> wait. Uh, wait. Oh! That's oh, impressive. Wow. <laughs> yeah, balance. Sure. Restore, you know? uh, restore balance. That should be a 22. Oh. Oh. Okay. Store balance. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> Twenty-two. Um. What do I feel? Well, certainly you won't feel anything like out of place. But as you move the wind around, you actually see some rats coming out of the walls. They were hiding somewhere and they were trying to escape the presence of you five. Oh. oh. Go collect those rats. Ah, I could possibly ask him questions later if I get a press. Is that a... One of those Harry Potter moments where they've turned into a fucking rat? Grab the rat! <laughs> get the rats! Yeah, then we'll try to make a sleight of hand to see if he could pick up one of the rats. Knowing that Jay Feather said that. Sure, yes. Okay. Yeah. Go, go grab them. I, I, will, I, I will also do that. I will cast Guidance on Malcolm. Uh, oh, thank you, I needed it. On Sam. Yep, Sorry. I needed it. Twelve. Uh, I'm, I'm a wrangle me a rat. <laughs> yeah, I will, if it's okay, I will try to kind of like grab a rat, but carefully, I don't want to hurt how it. The, how is so, how, I'm the rogue, how have I rolled worse than the sorcerer on sleight of hand? <laughs> yeah. You have a Just plus enough. six. With guidance as well. Ooh. 
Oh, come oh, here, you right. little yeah. one. Okay, yeah, that just doesn't overkill. Um, yeah, the rats rolled a uh, a twelve on uh, oh, yeah dexterity and a sixteen on dexterity. So technically, you would have already gotten. I, I then, got uh, one. Yeah, sure, you have. <laughs> let, let's say you. <laughs> oh man! But okay, yeah, the three of you own rats now. That's okay. <laughs> I'll hold it by the tail because I don't think it will react to me well and just kind of pass it to Jay. Thank you. Um, uh, you need all three or should we let these go? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, the more the better. Um, in case we'll... Okay. Uh, you get a, do we you... have some sort of cage or something we could put them in? I mean, I was just going to hold on to him to the rest of the day. You know, I mean, there's a broken that, crate that's here, that's but... I uh... could put it inside my helmet uh, for as long as I have this disguise on myself. Uh, I don't need it. But uh, I'll need something to keep it sealed. I don't know. It's not very... It sounds very humane. Just find... Uh, like, James, let's find a box to put him in for right now. <laughs> well, all the boxes in here are all broken. They probably will just scurry out of them. Let me see what I got. Um... Do I have anything? Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nothing. I will... You should stay with us. I'll say to I'll say to the rat, kind of like as I give her a little bit of food. Don't you think? It will try to bite you, but it teeth will immediately break off when once oh. it tries to bite you because of your armor. <laughs> oh no! Oh, damn it! I'll, I, you know what? Um, yeah, that's right. You gotta not have them near the face. They they take your defense to that. Could I make a deception check just to let it go? Because I don't want the others to realize that I actually let it go on purpose. But after it hurts itself, I will feel really bad, and I will kind of like maybe deceptively pretend that it falls off my hand and let it go. I don't know. Yeah, sure. If you okay, yes, I'll do that. Oh no! Oh, it hurt itself. Oh, 16, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's passive insight is higher than 16. Or... 16. Uh, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. That's 12. Oh, Jay Feather is mm -hmm. passive, yeah? So I will I, I'll look at Jay Feather. I know he, he will realize probably, and I'll kind of like shrug my shoulders. Like, uh, he knows how I feel the same about with him, with animals. Like, uh, I hate uh, badly treating animals. So. Fine, I'll... Um, I'll... Feels bad. Cast. I'm gonna cast Good Berry, and um, you'll see. I'm gonna reach into my bag, and what looks like uh, one berry is going to slowly just, and it's just gonna keep like uh, copying itself until I got ten uh, ten juniper berries. I'm gonna start the floor, and just... I'll put down four of them for it. And see if the rats can do them. I and I'll just I'll just grab a berry. Here you go. Trying to be careful not to get bitten. Um, Hold on to the I, uh, I will I'll speak to the rat. And, uh... You can speak to rat? Uh, yes, I, it takes time for me to prepare. And I need to get, get out more. A lot of people doing crazy thing here. I what do you think? I mean, he can learn the art of the rat. I learned the art of the deal, you know? So, it's very well. important to keep these rats very safe. Don't hurt them. Huh? What did you say? I'm sorry. You're very oh, quiet. I missed the last bit. Don't, don't yes. upset the rat. Just be very careful with them. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, there's not much you can do. I mean, you just kind of just chill in here, you know? Return to my hand. I will command the rat. <laughs> no, well, let's go <laughs> to see if it it's does. long gone. <laughs> Damn it. That rat is gone. It's not coming oh, back. This is why you need to improve your grip. I, I, I don't think we're going to find much more here. We should. What do, what do you think we should all do now? Uh, we should maybe go to the place where they make the arrows. Uh, that uh, establishment, perhaps the other clue. Yeah, but uh, what How long does it take to uh, speak with the rats? I, uh, it could be, it could take me at least eight hours. Oh, I've Shit. I've got to take a rest and prepare the uh, herbs and the remedies I need to to speak with them. 
Yeah, looks like I'm hanging on to this fella for a while. Yes, or otherwise, uh, I mean, I'm sure they will not go anywhere. Perhaps we could return here in eight hours and speak to them then. Imagine okay. if they took you from your home and carry you around just to interrogate you eight hours after. I don't think it's very nice behavior. Well, I mean, we're not going to be able to find him after eight hours, so... Hmm. Just... I guess it's for a graded course. Just uh, ensure, please, that he doesn't get hurt. Oh. I mean, I can feed it, but... Be extra careful, and I'll put the... I'll put the rest of the... the good berries inside of... Uh... I, I'm just gonna. Do I find? Can I find like a? Can I feel around for a burlap sack or some sort of like small box that isn't broken? Yeah, there are a few boxes that look in shape, like it's not completely ruined. I will take one of those. And, uh, go ahead and put the rats inside here. Everyone, drop your rats. All right. Bye, Cletus. Here you go. Cletus. Oh. That's a very homebody name. What? Yeah. Oh, that one. That one looks like a Reepy Cheap. <laughs> Reepy Cheap. What kind yeah. of dumb name is Reepy Cheap? Oh, what a what a stupid name for a rat. I think it's yeah, kind. I think it's. And... I think it's kind of cute. Reepy and then cheap. That that already says cheap. We're we're cheap people, oh. Jane. We don't need a rat to emphasize that. Yeah, I think cheap on its own will be much more logical. Uh, why will a rat have a name and a surname? Just cheap. Cheap will be good. But what about Reepy? <laughs> just... It sounds like creepy. Uh, I don't know. It's unsettling. Reepy. The metallic fellow has a point. Reepy the creepy. Let's 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 quickly go to the. The, the I'm sorry, Andy. You must be hating me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Andy. <laughs> He's probably going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> but uh, what you're going to do? Oh, you got the box of rats. Should we go uh, the stack right? of rats? I think. Uh, we, we, we can't leave through here, can we? We'll have to go back the way we came. Because the doors... Is there no door, or...? I mean, we could, we should go through and find out just out of game character, like to find out what is there actually, because we still don't know what is behind them. We actually, could just no. Break the door in. All right. I'll just go uh, up to the door and push it open. It's actually already open. The door wasn't closed. The entrance oh. door. Oh no! Man. And <laughs> you all will submerge today. No, you're outside on the docks. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, wow, okay. This is like a secret exit. Hmm. What a good place to escape. Uh, unseen. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe there's uh, something more we can find as we... Maybe we walk up and down the dock, see what else we can discover. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Make, a way, make a way back round. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds like a great idea. I still don't. I still don't trust. Uh, is it Darwin or Darren? I think that's Darren. Darren. Oh, there Darren. was. Uh, you mean the, the there was a few similar. Uh, you mean the Darian? inspector Darian? Darian or Darren? I don't remember his name. I think yes, it was Darian. Yeah, I think it was Darian. And Darian. then there was Drake Draven. That was the wizard who employed us, I believe. Yeah. I'm talking about the inspector. <laughs> he was, uh, yeah, I th there was something off about him. And I think, based on what we learned as we shot that, well, you shot that, um, Sam Tyler, uh, the arrow, uh, perhaps he was the target. Maybe he may know more than he I believe so, too. But uh, told us. I don't know. He didn't want to tell us. Uh, and what can we do? Honestly, Draven just came off as a bit of a self-righteous asshole. I just feel like saying that right now. I can hear you. This wall isn't airtight, you know? <laughs> I'm right behind this wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still no. came off as a self-righteous asshole. Just saying. Well, so do you. So, well, we still have to work together, right? So, can we at least ignore it? Oh, 
Uh, I am sorry, sir. We didn't mean to insult you. Uh, okay. I did. I'll start walking forward. <laughs> this doesn't work. This doesn't work. I can't deal with this now. Apologies, uh, Draven, was it? No. Just don't pretend you even want to apologize. Come on. Just... I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Come on, let's just go. Uh, please stop this. This is very embarrassing. Shame. On us. I'll just walking. I'll, I'll, I'll walk back up to the gate and just kind of say, I think we've uh, found where the killer came from this way. Uh, and I'll, but also, also, we found this and I'll chuck the, uh, the crossbow over. And he will catch it and be like, Where did you find this? Uh, it was kind of in, in the tunnel on the ground that, that we've got away from. It's, it's faulty or just poorly made. Well, I will bring it to uh, yeah, to our secure room at the police office. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Good find. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think this is the murder weapon or? Absolutely. But yes. The, but the wrong target, that is. Ooh. We also we think because of its faulty design, it's it aims a little too too much to the left. Yeah, we think it was meant to hit someone else. Watch what happens when Sam aims it at you. Yeah. Uh, I was speaking through. Uh, I wish I was up through the wall at the moment. Yes, right. Yeah, you could can see each other. There's some steel door over there, but uh, let's just assume he's standing right over there now. Okay, so we can see him as we speak. Yeah. No, you can't. It's oh, uh, we can't walled okay. off with the steel door. It's fully blocked. All right. Um... So, the, so if we cannot see him, I'll say, perhaps uh, have a look on, on the tunnel, the, uh, inside the shed, and you can come to, uh, with us. I think we should stay together, perhaps, if you're gonna, we're going to be investigating this. I think we're fine without him. Oh, come on, yeah, don't be like I, that. I prefer to not stick around with you guys that much. I still have a shit ton of paperwork at the police office, but you're... Oh, free to okay. come with me. I can show you Terry's office. Maybe you can find some clues over there. Yes, I think. Uh, uh, give us a uh, wait for us a few minutes. We're just gonna walk up and down this uh, promenade and check what we find in there. <laughs> what an old one! Right? <laughs> and I, was, I loved how you said it. Promenade. <laughs> I'm trying to be posh. I'm just really bad at it. But no, I, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> So, uh, what's next, fellows? Yeah, so let's just walk and I'll just uh, start walking, just checking for some footsteps or anything out of place or something on the water, maybe. There could be something thrown away and close to the shore or something like that. I'll just... You all can cool. just make a regular investigation check. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Inspect the docks. I'll and, put uh, guidance on um, uh, so. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, will J. Feather use perception because he's very perceptive? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I could use my staff as like a little cane. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, plus guidance. Uh, so this one. Come on, roll a four. Let's go okay. roll a four. Yeah, come on. Oh, no. Damn it. Well, no. Well, 21 is still high. More than enough to uh, pick out that you estimate why this place was closed. It probably was like a small storage room for a personal business or something because the docks still seem to be in good shape. Mm -hmm. um, you see some boxes uh, in the river together with some rocks, but nothing that would. It, it looks like they have been down there as long as the door was starting to rot. So it's. Hmm. Okay. Boxes were thrown down in the water or they fell down, you don't know why, but it's there quite so well, longer than this murder has been. So people so that that will okay, so all right. Hear uh, me out. I I have this thought in my head. We just went through a tunnel. Right? We saw yes. some rats, right? Yes. Maybe the person is like a rat. Maybe he's making another hole somewhere. Mm. 
I hear someone tapping. What is that sound? You think, you think that uh, there's more holes in which uh, they could be using to murder more people? The tapping was for him and Bert. That's a... Yeah, <laughs> the wings of the hummingbird. Oh, Kitiara! <laughs> Well, maybe that's what we should be looking for. Uh, maybe another hole um, somewhere hmm. on the side, rather than because uh, is there really as we go down the docks? Um, I'm assuming there's multiple angles that lead to back into the the town, the city, right? No, there's only um, well, if you would go more south, eventually you get another gate that one was also closed, and there's one over here. That I forgot mm -hmm. to place in the map <laughs> when I made this map. Whoops. Okay. okay, so. And that's basically the main entrance from the street to the building. Mm. I like your idea, uh, just Jane. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, sweetie, uh, never mind. Um... <laughs> Calamity Jane. Well, oh. could, well, only in the ring. Oh. And if you get me angry, then yeah. Um, Maybe we should ask around people that live here. They're go around, see who's there, say howdy, see uh, see if they've seen anyone around suspicious. Maybe we could ask around there. Just down the um, door. I'm, I'm not much of a people person anymore, yeah, I don't I think. I wasn't suggesting you. You you yeah. probably freak them out. Uh, maybe some a pleasant face. Uh, so. I'll look at your uh, fella. Maybe. I will. Okay. Yeah. Well, can you just be on your friendlier behavior, maybe? Like, uh, like yes, that's where I gotta step in. Like, like you're trying to sell something, okay? Yes, I mean, you are very good at selling things, and you are very friendly. Just uh, perhaps uh, cut down on the trickery, and that will make uh, you more trustworthy. I'm, uh, in that case, then, I'm gonna need to borrow one of you for five minutes, uh, which one of you doesn't mind talking while I do these deals? Uh, I I I could talk, I guess. No, I'm, I'm saying not talk because I I grew up being around people and I'm very good at mimicry. But the thing is, if I try to mimic one of you and then you talk, then the whole thing kind of goes sideways, you know. So it kind of needs that little element of surprise there. So. I have a lot of self-discipline. If you require me not to talk, I can choose not to talk. I will, too. Uh, if, but, you, uh, if you don't mind that, sir. Sorry. But uh, perhaps, uh, I mean, you are quiet, have a quiet nature yourself. Uh, sorry, I forgot your character name. I'm so sorry. Well, <laughs> Not so are you talking about Sam Tyler? Sam Tyler, Sam, yeah. Sam. Sam. Yeah, Sam yes, Tyler, yeah. Uh, Sir Sam. Perhaps you will be very suitable, too. I feel that would mean I'd have to listen to Will talk even more. Hmm. I don't know whether I'm ready for that yet. And um, can, I, can I do? I have to do an insight roll to see if I could copy his voice. Sure, but as he probably will help you try to help you talk like him, you can roll with advantage. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> if you're. Uh, that 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 was needed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, with that, you yeah. instantly catch up to it, and you can actually speak as him at, as as you go. Not like a yeah. captain where you have All to right. practice first before. My name you can. is uh, Sam Tyler. Uh, less, I've been doing a lot of less emotion. Less emotion. <laughs> do you want? Do you want? Do you feel like you're dead yet? Because if not, then you're not doing it right. Use the pain of wanting to not be here. Use it. Let it fester and boil. My name is Sam Tyler. I'm getting tired of this shit. Yes. Oh, just now, let me go home. Now imagine, now imagine five very odd people accosted you and forced you into a location where you're now being made to investigate something very odd and not to do with you. Imagine that. Use that. Uh, this is irritating. I just need to get this over with and get this done. Uh, That's so good, Will. That's, that's pretty That's good enough. Yeah, I like that. 
I mean, you could always yeah, like mime your mouth, and then Sam can just speak. So well, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, that sounds like quite a performance act, perhaps for uh, for a show. Well, okay, <laughs> seriously, out, out again. That's going to be difficult while we're on Discord, and also, I'm not good at improv. <laughs> <laughs> well, last I remember, we were supposed to talk to, what's her face, the woman who made this crossbow, the one who ran off while she was here. Uh, 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 Lisa Huntersburg? Will that be Lisa the name? Huntersburg. All right, let's go Huntersburg. speak with her. Yeah. Um, the one with the oh, we're out. Uh, Pitoro. What does Pitoro mean? Was seen? Pitoro? That's my name. It's Pitoro. Come on, work. Bless. I have no we idea what do... Pitoro is. <laughs> 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 That's me. <laughs> Damn it. On, I have no <laughs> to the woodworking shop. Right? Mm -hmm. um, um, you remember that Draven mentioned that. Well, he thought uh, that they know about her, but you. Didn't get the context yet, you just know her name. Mm. Mm. Draven! What? Do you know where this Lisa woman works? Um, yeah, she gave our address. We know where she lives, but. Uh... We want to talk to her about the weapon. <laughs> sure, um. Yeah, if you come over to me, then I can give you the address. All right, let's make uh, our way then. Not uh, fine. I think we may need the weapon as well that you threw over. Sam? Yes, let's, let's just go that just, way. We can just try and open the door. Go, go walk through. Can you... Can you... Oh, well, the doors at the walls? Yeah. They are uh, locked. So if you want to open, you can try to open it. Can uh, fair enough, we'll go back through the way we came then. I don't trust yeah, my we'll rolls. <laughs> oh, we had the tools tunnel. to open doors. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Imagine having a rogue that doesn't open doors for you. Oh. I know, yeah. damn it. I was, Why? I, I've been, <laughs> the highest I've rolled is 16 today, I'm worried. You know, I'll I'm, this is going to be interesting having to sell Sam Tyler's personality to this Lisa woman. I mean, I wouldn't know, but if I, if I was him, I wouldn't open the door next to the policeman on the other side. Yeah. So everyone knows that I'm yeah. going to be opening doors. So it kind of makes sure, sense. You, you'll take the long route and you're back yeah. to the. Uh, in front of it. It wasn't um, that long we teleported instantly. <laughs> yeah, just like off the boat. <laughs> Um, you, uh, as you will enter again, uh, uh, Dorian has left by now. Uh, Dravel mentioned, yeah, we sent him home. He has went through enough already, so we, we decided to let him go. Um, I have two pieces of paper for you. This is the address of where you can find uh, Lisa. And oh, this wow. is another paper um, once you arrive at the police uh, office. Just uh, hand them this and um, uh, probably someone will guide you to the office of Terry. You have now full uh, clearance to investigate his office. Try to see if you can find something, but try not to, uh, you know, snoop around too much. Since, you know, no one knows you yet. Sure. And the only you reason why you're not in jail is because of Leander, so. Fair enough. Uh, we will be our most careful. Do not worry. And he also hands the crossbow back. But I want this back. No damage. We need it as it is now, okay? Yes. Could we Please borrow? To... Uh, I'll just have a look. Uh, that is it any. Uh, that That is. Actually, this is a stupid question. Is he carrying his uh, sleeping bag kind of thing? Like, you know, like an adventurer style? <laughs> does he have. Does he look like he has something on himself that we could put the weapon on? Like a blanket no, but, or something like that. Um, Sam will probably remember that the box that he opened over here, it had some kind of carpet or anything. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll, if I if I, if I kind of like figure that out as well, I'll say, yeah, uh, we should wrap it up. So we just to ensure we don't damage it or might have some clues on it. So TM, do that. Oh, and can we also... 
I, there's something about that other weapon we found, the, the gun and the note. We'd like to hold on to that for evidence as well, if, if it'll, uh, if you would permit us. No, sorry, the gun I can do, since it's okay. already an illegal weapon we're, without a permit. We're all on so. the same team here, we just need to work together. Can we please just get this over with faster by letting us just borrow it while we're at it? No, sorry. There are some no. line I have to cross in. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, that is okay. We will we'll not need it anyway. We'll bring it... I guess. Uh, if we just can't find the killer, I guess we'll just have to tell him that you withheld evidence from us. And this whole that? thing is just going to drag on and on, this investigation. You're going to have to hang out with us more much more. more bodies in the meantime. We could spend days with you, hours, years, just trying to solve this murder. I'm sorry. Will, can you just talk back in your normal voice? Because it's really irritating me. <laughs> I think he sounds rather fine. That's kind of the point. That sounds kind of the point. It's but fine. Since you're asking, darling, I can switch back. Uh, thank you. It's like having uh, two uh, Sam Taylors, and I'm getting a little confused. That's exactly why. But in that case, look, we really do need this investigation tools that we can have for when we go speak to Lisa and when we talk around. Now, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. You know I don't like you, and I know you don't like us. So the sooner that we can go our separate ways, the better, no? Sure, then, if you can give me the reason why you would need this gun. Because to me it's already obvious that this gun was placed here, and they went out to investigate the gun, and that's where that story ends. Unless I missed the clue somewhere? The gun is a very important component of the reasoning for the shooting, because this investigator wasn't meant to be shot. The one who was supposed to be shot was the one opening the gun, if I remember correctly. So, that stands to reason that as we're going to go speak to this Lisa, that uh, she, being at the scene of the crime, maybe seeing the gun would jog her memory a bit more at the very least. Or, because she's handy with wood and crafting, she would also know the handiwork a bit more of this gun compared to, say, the dock officials who only handled it. So really, it's more about gathering information from a crafter slash witness at the murder scene than it is about anything else. He does have a point, you know. If it's anything like uh, working with metal, uh, whenever I have to repair my, my my hand, which is this, I have to go to a specific source. So, and um, they know their metal, so I'm assuming they she should know her wood. One of you make a persuasion check. I'm thinking Will shoot because he started the conversation. <laughs> and yes, not only that, but um, let me see if... Nope, that doesn't like, work here. Okay, it's just a normal persuasion. Looks like Sam Torres gets persuasion. a new weapon. Hmm? What was that? Hmm? You guys? Huh? Nothing. I thought you both said something. Something about the weapon. That's all I heard. Oh, no. <laughs> that is, not... No, that's not going to cut it. I'm fucking out. And Raven's face will just stare. Better than Sam Tider's face right now is. Just he's... I said this will cross the line. I can't give random people that appeared out of thin air that are already on the line as well an illegal weapon uh, i'm sorry for asking let's just go it does not matter to us i reassure you right. that's fine that's fine you know what mark our words you will rue the day that we weren't given an illegal firearm <laughs> to possibly conduct an investigation with so good day to you Guy, I refuse to call you sir. The metal guy is a sir. You're just, you're just dick. <laughs> I will walk off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it. yeah I, you're making yeah, me walk walking. off all the time. I'm, I'm, no, sorry. We're, I'm sorry. We're, I started walking the minute I was giving that little rat like. Oh no. Just like that. I'm just gonna, as we're walking away, I'm just gonna like, uh, apologies, apologies. See, I told you that, that guy's a prick. No, I gave him the art of the deal, I gave him the setup, I gave him the scenario, and 
No, it's just, just being a dick about it. You know? I think he's paranoid that we want to use the gun for something unlawful. It's he, understandable. He, he seems to not like you all. I can respect that. Well... Why, you don't like it, Sam? I think I've made it very clear I, I, I'm, I've been accosted and placed into this group without my... Yeah. my well, uh, Sam, you know, Sam, if you want, you can go anywhere else you would like. There's not really much else buying me here except for, oh, I don't know, that, that guy. Legal trouble, actually. Legal trouble you put us in. That's Sam. what's binding me here at the minute. Hmm. I feel you, uh... Mr. Sam, uh, I, in no time, we will be fr best friends. Do not worry. He feels a bit odd at the moment, but uh, we... Not a threat. We... <clears throat> Sam, we we all want what's best for each other, and you said you're looking for someone. So am I. Now, oh, no, yeah. I have tricks up my sleeves, and I, I know how to look for people. Wait, did, is everyone looking for someone here? Oh, I'm looking for something, not someone. Uh, apologies. So, someone from you, uh, someone from you, something from you, and yeah, we we we've got our own problem. Yes. Well, what is baby. your a... what is your story? Why? What are you looking or doing? Or if you don't mind asking, me asking. Uh, do you want to go, Jane, or should I? I mean, we're just uh, we're just trying to make some money back for. Someone we know? You know, oh. we, we're used to the high life, you know, we're used to high class, and uh, we're just trying to get some of that opportunity back, you know? I, I had a boat, the uh, USS Jenna, and uh, now that boat's gone, so, you know, it's just, we're just here just for that, but solving mur murder mysteries, that, that's a new one for my portfolio. I can add that on my contract. So on fortune is what you search. Sure. Is it? Sure, fortune and opportunity, baby, because... Maybe, maybe him? That's fancy. Ah, you look like you might search for glory as well, uh, um, uh, Jane. No, but I did punch Gloria one time. She didn't like it. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, I remember that fight. That fight was rough, man. That You sent her to Holland. All right, let's focus. Come on, let's go. We, we cannot waste more time on this. But yeah, uh, poor Gloria. That's close. Yeah. And we start going towards, if everyone is cool, uh, towards the address. Uh, first towards the shop, right? Uh, yeah, uh, towards Lisa's, yeah. Lisa, uh, what was uh, her last name? I want to write it down just to be sure. Uh, it was Lisa, Lisa something. Handelberg. Handelberg. Handelberg? Handelberg, yeah. H-A-N-D-E-R-B-E-R-G. -E yeah. -E I think it's actually on the chat. Wow. Uh, no, I don't I see it in the chat. Or do you mean the Discord no. chat? Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's. Oh, I, I think I posted it a fair long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, um, yeah, as you have given the address, at some point during the walk through out road, and you realize none of you know this place. <laughs> You've never been here. Oh, that How are you going to figure out where this is? And uh, I'll just go up to a stander by. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could point us towards this direction. We're kind of new in town. Um, as you say that, all of you please make me a perception check based on sound. Ooh, okay, based on sound. Ooh. I will I will kind of be whispering as he's doing that. Uh, we should purchase a map. You already have a map. <laughs> Alright, well, that is what it is. Um, yeah, everyone oh! rolls higher than a 12. Yes, natural 20. Uh, <laughs> again. Do the thing, <laughs> it already starts off 3 0. Let's see if it will happen yeah. again. That's good. <laughs> it looks so, so cursed. <laughs> it looks so cursed. <laughs> I love you, sister. I love it so bad. <laughs> So, yeah, Will and Malcolm, you volunteered, but the other three of you, um, whoever uh, got the map from L'Oreal, I believe it was Will, mm -hmm. um, you will hear some sound coming from off it. It's like a sparkly, shining sound, as you mentioned the address of uh, Lisa. I'm a bit confused, sorry, what exactly happened? He 
I'm asking you for hear... directions, and while that's happening, you all hear the sound from the directions on the thing, from the address from, thing. From uh, Will's backpack, you hear something yeah. like magical, uh, shru- sh- yeah, glittery sounds. Oh, from Will's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. backpack. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. What was that, Jay? You say you say something? Uh, I heard something coming from there. I'll, yeah. I'll kind of have a look. Your your yeah, bag, just, sweetie. It's uh, it's rattling. I'll just look inside. Oh. oh. Mm. And if you look and back I'll at it, it. Yeah, if you open the map once again, the map is gone. You see something completely else. And as you start to look at it, you start to realize the map changed from being of the town. Or Broden. Oh, oh, it's a magical map. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. This is uh, quite a map. I could uh, make so uh, I could make a fortune off this. They uh, they uh, gave us <laughs> this oh. map, right? No, uh, Captain Loreal. Yeah, the oh, captain. The captain. Remember the uh, the guy yeah. who I won the dice game from? Morel, yeah. Laurel. Yeah. Laurel, yeah, Laurel. Yeah, okay. Laurel. Well, this is pretty neat. I don't know why he wanted to get rid of this. This, this is nice. But the random good. person you spoke through the street is kind of staring at this well Whoa, that's... Yeah, no, check it out. <laughs> that's oh, impressive. Cool. Yeah. How did it's you do that? Apparently. I don't know. Huh. I mean... Well, it looks old, so... Might not be that useful, but... Anyway, well, there... uh, yes, we're looking for this uh, woodworking place from uh, Miss Handelberg. And as you will say that, you will see on the mm-hmm. map a spark coming from over there. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. that, that's that's what we saw. That That's that's kind of what it was doing. Oh. That is so awesome. Well, I guess we don't uh, need you now. You can go now. Bye. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for your assistance. Well, they didn't really appreciate help. it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's true. But I mean, we, I appreciate the conversation for what it's worth. Bye. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go in a different direction. Whoa, just head towards yeah. where I assume the spark is. You yeah, just did the magic trick for an old man, and he was like, "Huh." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think keep I saying think... the keep 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 saying the address, sweetie. You just gotta keep repeating it. Just keep repeating the address. I'm just going to keep repeating. Lisa Handelberg, Lisa Handelberg, uh, let's see, off 22 Street and then into Fish Market Corner. <laughs> and eventually, with, from what you estimate where you were from, from mm-hmm. you're probably somewhat around here from this part yeah. of the harbor. Mm-hmm. It would probably be like a 30 minute walk. At this point, your self disguise will drop Cisco. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Oh! All right. Um, I'm actually gonna um, uncharacteristically open the helm, and as I do, you will see that my face is actually wrapped in black bandages, everything apart from the eyes. So you, it looks like a, like if I was uh, I have like an opening for my mouth too. So imagine like I had plastic surgery, but it's like black bandages instead of white. You see and Jane, just... Jane kind of looking under, peeking in. You have a mask under your. Uh... Your helmet. Mm, yes, uh, unfortunately, my my face is best unseen uh, due to the accident. If I pull that mask down, will there be another mask underneath that? Oh, I rather you didn't, but there is no more masks. Hmm. Mm. You could have like a whole little guessing game here. Guess how many faces uh, you have. It it's not make it decent. It helps to heal my scars. Mm. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He looks fine to me. Uh, you always keep saying that. I don't understand it. I, I didn't say he Everyone looked anything looked wrong with him. Yeah, yeah no, it. it's very advantageous. You know, if anything, it's anything good. Mm. I kind of like be looking around like I'm very uncomfortable with the conversation. <laughs> yeah, Jane and uh, Will are just looking at. Anyway, moving on. All right. Art of the deal. Art of the deal. Art of the deal. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I can't I, I assume I'll, I'll close it back. Oh. I, I assume that we're there already at this yeah, point. Yeah, eventually you will get 
uh, to a place that looks like they are working with wood, you hear sobbing noises and stuff. It's quite a large place. It's, it looks more like a cluster of random buildings that are put together. That there is more, it looks more like a guild than a house or a place to live. Hmm. Maybe this place will have a certain reception office or something. I'm gonna look around, trying to look for like a door to an office looking building ish. Hmm. You will see some people outside uh, taking a smoke break or something. Uh, hello. Hello, fellows. I'm uh, here to speak to the uh, owner of this fine establishment. Yes, we are looking for the owner of the establishment, uh, Miss yes. Lisa. Well, Lisa's not the owner. Uh, she's married to the owner, but... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them, yeah. There's some joint business going on that we'd like to speak to them about. Why would you like to speak with her? You know, we're just uh, investigating a couple things that are going on around the city, and she's privy, along with her husband, to uh, figuring those things out. You guys don't look like inspectors. Who and are you? I'll pull out a slip of paper. Ah, but we are. But we are. We are in a special mission. That's why. We are on these guys. Oh, so you're undercover agents. Uh, not yes. really undercover. But I mean, we are open. I'm openly showing you the paper. If I was undercover, yeah, then why would I be we're showing you? We're freelance. I'm going to walk, hey, I'm gonna walk into the shop. That, you don't mind her. That's just my other business partner. But this, you want to enjoy your smoke break. We're taking it up. We'll just need to. Can we just find your bosses around here. No, you five stay here. I will get her for right. you. That's fine. Just uh, waste your smoke break. That's fine. You know, unions. Oh. Who cares about them, right? No, I will oh, take right. just another one. So. Hey, Will. Uh, and, uh, I will he actually. Was... Hmm? Once you, before he goes, I will telepathically ask Kitiara to follow him to see, to hear what he say, and I'll say to the others, uh, just. Uh, hold me one second. I'll kind of put my hand on uh, Jay Feather's shoulder and I will connect to see through Kiara's, Kitiara's eyes. Then make me a perception and a stealth roll for Kitiara since you okay. probably don't want Kitiara yeah. to be. Well, okay. have you seen the craftsmanship in here? It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, Jane. I mean, is it similar to what you do almost? I don't I mean, you work with. You know, damn it. Metal. Faults and screws. I've been in it yeah. Place. Mostly. Some mechanism, gears. But this this I'm... is pretty good. Oh, I mean, the I last time them. I went to your place, I almost got stabbed by one of your contraptions. Perception. Yeah, sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, I still haven't forgotten about that. <laughs> um, I rolled a six on uh, his perception. So, oh, yeah, the stealth will work out. <laughs> oh, wow. I just That's barely amazing. saw the rolls. Yeah, and I, I remember she has advantage on perception checks. So. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. So, and so with the like, 14, um, you get a closer look inside. It looks like a regular workplace. They make all sorts of stuff uh, from wood. They either cut it to the right size or bend it or even carve like art woods out of them. Um, you can't really figure out what they are trying to build for to our eyes, but uh, okay. you won't get spotted and you will see uh, him eventually uh, get into a room, walk uh, out of it, and Lisa will follow her. And eventually, after like two or three minutes, uh, she will come out. Okay, so yeah. there was no dodgy kind of like conversation like, oh, they're looking for you or something. It was more like a normal kind of conversation. Uh, it's probably like, uh, there are some inspectors outside. Um, they probably want some questions from, you know, All what right. you witnessed. Okay. You're like, oh, of course, I I will come immediately. Give me a, a few seconds. She will follow right. and uh, eventually will, she will step outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will, uh, I will just make sure. I'll click my fingers to... I don't know if you can do that with familiars. Can I actually make it disappear? I'm not sure. Uh, need to double I will just there. allow it. I remember Caleb doing it all the time, so I okay, think so. Yeah, so I will click my fingers and then she will disappear for now because I don't want her to go back following again because she might get spotted and hit with a broom or something like that. So I'll just make it... Uh... Sure, sure, sure. Cool, thank you. And I will say to the others before this uh, gentleman comes back, I'll say, uh, 
everything seems to be in order. There was not unusual conversation or anything. So, uh, we are... Good. That makes things easier for me, then. <laughs> yeah, it says I can actually do it. Yeah. While this I is, care, while this is happening, this. you see... Um, you see Jane just staring at Sam. And she takes out a ration. Just eats it. Just keeps an eye on him. Um, yeah, Sam. You know what Never trust what doesn't eat. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam, can I ask you a question? Sure. What, what's up? Um, what? What brought you to um, the island? What? Why did you get on the boat? I know it's to look for that person, but. What what makes you think they're here on this island? Well, um, I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to... I guess I moved across one island. I'm looking across the next, and then probably the third. Eventually I'll find him. Is he a friend? Um, former employer. Let's say that. Former employer. Have you killed someone before? I'll, I'll do what I need to. You hunting him? Let's... Potentially. I just know... Um, some of the equipment I was involved in with for the task you offered me can only be found in transit. So that's why I'm here. If you all must know. I'm going to go up to him and you see her take her prosthetic hands and grab you and take you in closer and she'll say to you and whisper in your ear if you intend to kill any of my friends here especially the really annoying one you'll have to go through me first you understand I don't want of your any of your revenge vengeance coming back on us Don't get in my way, and uh, you'll feel a, a slight um, point. He, he has a dagger ready. Mm. She'll let go. He'll do the same. Okay, okay. Um, Are we we all hear in this conversation, right? Sorry, that I like. I whispered that uh, between. Yeah, me I still and... know the whisper the entire okay, time. So, yeah, so then yeah. Uh, then no, it's okay. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Lucky. No. And after uh, that whisper, Lisa will eventually come out. Um, hi, you. Uh, are Mrs. Amberbird, yes, hello there. My name is Will Albatross. This is my crew here, the other Albus. <laughs> We're here investigating the murder of the Mr. Uh, Terry Seinfeld. How are you doing today? I'm still. Mm, I've... It's an easy to see a body like that. Just. A oh, very, very grisly matter, you know, just. Shot right through the body, and you know, especially with such depravity. But, um, I won't take up too much of your time. I know that I imagine that you and your husband are very busy people running very OSHA compliant union type services. Uh, we were wondering if we can ask you about this crossbow, and I'll gesture towards Soul because I imagine Soul's the one mm -hmm. with like the box that has it. But this handiwork here yeah i'll start opening the thingy and uh, show her uh you notice that i'm remaining quiet because uh even though Saul wasn't sure if i was meant to speak or not so i wouldn't actually speak <laughs> at all like you said yeah. uh, so, <laughs> so yes, i'll just pull like, it out yeah. you want to do this like if she wanted to reach for it but the moment she almost like this oh is is this the murder weapon and, I mean, it's, it was used, whether it was a murder weapon, hopefully we, you can help us figure out. That's actually why we can't be, to be perfectly honest. If, you, you may, you can hold it if you'd like, you can look at it. As a craftsman, you need to, you know. And she will then yeah. hold it and Go. inspect Go it a little bit. It's not loaded, don't be afraid. Add another one to the net 20 mo. And, uh... She did an investigation check on it. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, but 
little research from it. Um, oh well, this is not properly made. It's Could the I joints. Insight? It doesn't look like. Hmm? Can I insight her investigation? See if she's doing it properly, or sure. Like, do I feel like anything off about her? Sure, you can insight her. Uh, at the meanwhile, uh, it looks like like anyone can make it as he, long as he had the tools to make. So uh, well, the only that's... hard part is the cross part. And well, it looks like where did you find this? How um... we found it near the crime scene. But Mrs. Ambleberg, Handelberg, the issue that we're having is that yes, you run a mill factory. A wood mill, basically, but you hire lots of possibly contractors and laborers that handle the tools that would be used for this. And we were wondering if anyone in particular comes to mind when it comes to, say, their style. Are they the type to curve things off slightly? Are they not good at math, for instance? That sort of deal? Mm, here, only the best work. Um, if you go maybe to the cheaper side of town, back at the west, maybe you can. I, I I have no contacts over there, so I'm sorry. I all I know is that this is not made by one of us. Okay, well that narrows it down. Certainly. What you say was uh, cheaply made, then. Well, it's yeah, it looks cheaply made. Like it was made in a hurry, or um... yeah, did did you drop it or something? Because it looks crooked a bit. No, uh, it probably won't like shoot, right? Any, any, anything specific from the wood type? Just the cheapest we have over here, uh, the most regular kinds. So, no. And also the invest, uh, the inside check from you, Lucky. You will notice she did a proper job investigating it. Hmm. I see. Well, so uh, even if you don't have any contacts over there. The people back out west you've mentioned, do you know at least one of the names of them? Even if you don't talk to them, but do you know possibly of like any that are disreputable or would be trying to undercut? Like your competitors in the west, basically, is who I'm asking for. Well, we try to specialize into uh, carving and making them very specific through literally the millimeters are have to be perfect. Over there, they probably let it go through the mill and like a square pole is a square pole. It, it's good enough over there, probably. But yeah, I, I don't know the names. Um, I believe Lumberg is the main op, the biggest wood mill factory over there. Bloomberg. Okay, that's one place to start. Thank you very much, Mrs. Anbelberg. You've been very helpful thus far. And uh, before I leave you here, you may have been asked for these questions already, but uh, did you know Did you know uh, Mr. Um, Terry Seinfeld? Did you know the person at all? Not at all. Okay, and um, since you work in woodcrafting and not just weaponry, were you... Were you do you make... The uh, crates which they use to store anything that they shore, that they bring in, any imports. Like, do you guys make those crates here?